Coco is Pixar's new Day of the Dead themed animation and the first trailer just dropped, giving us a fantastic look at some of the characters we can look forward to meeting in the movie. Yippee Kaye movie lovers, it's Jan here and in this video I'm going to break down the first trailer for Coco and reveal some hidden details you might have missed. The trailer opens on a scene of Miguel entering an ofrenda or shrine for his musical hero Ernesto de la Cruz. Inside the shrine there are tons of pictures, records and lots of DLC mentions which is of course short for de la Cruz. And there's also two handmade signs that read DLC por siempre, which in English means DLC forever. There are lots of nice touches that Pixar have put into designing this traditional Mexican ofrenda, in other words a type of altar set up on the Day of the Dead to honour the memory of a person's ancestors. We can see orange and yellow marigolds, which are the flowers traditionally used in an ofrenda. Other cool details include a plate of food with what looks like a sweetbread or pan dulce, on top of which is a calavera, or Mexican candied skull. And that's because in an ofrenda the favourite food of the deceased is typically offered to make the deceased person feel welcome and comfortable. Next, Miguel puts on a video cassette of some old black and white recordings of his idol Ernesto de la Cruz, who's voiced by actor Benjamin Bratt. You might have seen Bratt on screen recently as Jonathan Pangborn in Doctor Strange, and his character in Coco is inspired by legendary Mexican film and musical icons such as Pedro Infante, Jorge Negrete, and Vicente Fernandez. Okay, let's move on to the next scene where we see Miguel unfolding a torn photo with the face of one person missing. What we already know about Coco is that Miguel comes from a family of shoemakers, the Riveras, who banned music in the family after Miguel's great-great-grandmother, Imelda, was abandoned by her husband after he left to chase his musical dreams. This picture is probably of Miguel's great-great-grandparents and their daughter, Mama Coco, who is Miguel's great-grandmother, and judging by the broken picture frame on the floor, it seems that Miguel may have chanced upon this photo literally by accident. Given this comes straight after the previous scene of Ernesto de la Cruz on TV serenading a woman, it seems implied that the missing character from the photo is the deceased Ernesto. So perhaps this photo is the reason why we next see Miguel breaking into Ernesto's tomb as he's trying to uncover something about his family's past. Inside the tomb, Miguel sees Ernesto's old guitar, and as he touches it, the flowers on the floor light up, suggesting Miguel shares a special connection with Ernesto. By the way, this moment and the way the flowers light up and rise up around him reminds me somewhat of the 2016 animated movie Kubo and the Two Strings. And this special connection is what transports Miguel to the underworld, together with his dog Dante, who by the way is a Xolo, also known as a Mexican hairless dog. Actually, the fact that the dog is named Dante seems highly appropriate given the themes of the movie, as medieval Italian poet Dante's famous work, The Divine Comedy, was all about the author's travels through the realms of the dead. Finally, the trailer ends with a lovely first look at the underworld in Coco. The multicoloured design and otherworldliness of it reminded me a bit of Inside Out, which then left me wondering whether Pixar might include a cameo by Bing Bong here in the Land of the Dead. Bing Bong heroically sacrificed himself to save Joy from being trapped inside Riley's memory dump, and it would be wonderful to see him or any other deceased Pixar characters appear in Coco's underworld. Talking of connections to other Pixar movies, the inspiration for Coco actually kind of came from a scene at the end of Toy Story 3. Coco director Lee Unkrich, who also directed Toy Story 3, told EW that at the end of Toy Story 3 we had this moment where Jesse's horse turns on the boombox and the Gypsy Kings do a Spanish language version of You Got a Friend in Me, which it turned out ended up being a real precursor to this movie. Now obviously there have been Day of the Dead themed animations before, including the 2014 film The Book of Life, but I still can't wait to see Pixar's own take on the theme. So what did you think about the first teaser trailer for Pixar's Coco? And are there any dead Pixar characters you'd like to see appear in Coco's Land of the Dead? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do please hit those like and share buttons, and why not subscribe for more of my Pixar and Disney videos? You can also tap or click here to watch some more of my videos you might like. Thanks for watching and see you next time, yippee ki movie lovers!